Hello everyone. Earlier versions of our AI models sometimes showed noticeable noise and layer lines, especially in more complex images. For some users, that could be a bit distracting. Now, we've made a big step forward. The latest update reduces noise by around 90%, giving you much smoother and cleaner results. Let me show you two real examples from the gallery to see how the new features look in action. Alright, first up, let's grab this Viking image from the gallery. One of our users shared it, and honestly, it's pretty awesome. Tons of detail, lots of depth, definitely the kind of image that can trip up AI if it's not paying attention. Now, for this one, I'm going to switch over to Scop Pro. That's our newer model, handles this stuff really well. And down here, I'll also switch the format to 32-bit EXR. Uh, it's a bit more technical, but basically, it keeps way more image data in there, so we don't lose the little details or get those weird banding issues. Pretty neat, right? Let's hop into 3D Preview and check it out. First, I'll switch off the texture so we can see the pure shape way easier to spot any trouble spots. Then bump max thickness a bit, give the helmet and beard some real meat, no paper thin vibes. Contrast next, nudge it up and the armor lines pop. Dial it back. If you want things softer, you watch the bumps change in real time. Relief intensity. Weight is the sharpest is rounded knob. I slide it left, just a touch. Keeps the engravings crisp, but still smooth. Finally, yank model scaling to max. Tell the exporter, grab every tiny detail. Uh, we can also create coin style reliefs directly. Enable circular, then scale the image to the desired diameter. Next, re-enable the texture map to inspect the finished result. Now let's zoom in and really stare at the details. Even at this close-up scale, the surface stays glass smooth. No little craters, no noisy speckles. If you still want it silkier, grab the new denoising strength slider, scoot it to the right and the whole thing gets that extra polish. It's our fresh control knob, so feel free to nudge until the shine matches your taste. Click Download Processed Image and you can directly download the depth map in PNG format. Let's quickly drop in a depth map from the older build, still crazy detailed, but yeah, the surface feels like coarse sandpaper. Good news. If you're grabbing an STL anyway, just tick the noising strength and nudge it up. The roughness melts away while all the tiny nooks stay intact. Alright, once the EXR depth map is downloaded, Let's hop into ZBrush and see the upgrade firsthand. Zoom in anywhere, every ridge and crease stays glass smooth. No extra polishing needed, you could literally send it straight to the CNC or mill right now. For comparison, drop in the 16-bit version. Instantly, it feels rawer, more micro detail, but you also pick up visible noise and a sandpapery finish. So if you want ready to cut silk, go for the EXR. If you like a rugged, just carve, Look. go for the 16-bit version. All right, let me show you another example. This one's another user submitted piece from the gallery. Once it's generated, we'll download the image and jump right into ZBrush for a relief preview. It's still a side-by-side -side comparison with other grayscale generated effects and the difference is pretty stark. Now, I get that EXR is a pretty niche file format. A lot of software out there might not support it directly. No worries, you can opt for the 32-bit image generation and then download the SDL from the 3D preview. That will still give you fantastic results, so you're not missing out on quality even if you can't use EXR.